two shadows over nothing. Let's just get right into it, shall we? So, managed to at least figure out this brewer's mystery. So, let's just go on to the next interesting location. Oh, we stops at the entrance into the alley and looks around. Hold up a second, hearing a familiar melody. Don't hear anything? I mean, in a metaphorical sort of way. Something I write about on the edge of remembering. He taps one foot for a thought for a moment, and closes and the eyes brightens and snaps his fingers. Climbing up into some trash bins, pulls down a box that's wedged behind some treat pipes. What a thing to put get. Get, come to Papa. What's that? He opens the box, revealing some smaller boxes and some tin, can some tin cans. Genuine cola war, war rations. Pork and beans, hardtack breads, whole <coughs> can of cola syrup, and carbonation tablets. Were you in the war? Nope, but I can carry a tune, but my feet are flat. Plus, I got the objective status on the can for being a pepper. This stuff is an army surplus I saturate against leaner times. You weren't planning eating those, are you? Beans and bread? No. The so syrup, though. That stuff don't go bad. It goes good. He pulls out a chunk a church key and punches a hole in the in the can. Nice hiss and takes a swig. His eyes go wide. Whoa, now that's what I'm talking about. His HP increases by five. Take your word for it. Let's see what's around. So. <coughs> Born looking hope our lounges against a wall of a decrepit building. Talk to him. Hello, little uh, mumble. Hi, Master. Blah, 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 blah. Shame well? Mm hmm. Um, I'm looking for Herman's groceries, is it? Remember? When? Remember? Have you been sitting around here this whole time? Mm hmm. What are you doing around here then? Remember? Waiting for what? Remember? You're looking for work? Remember? I don't think you're gonna find any work here. Considering that the store is pretty thoroughly closed, I don't think you're gonna find any work here. Remember? Remember? It doesn't look like there's another store gonna open up here any anytime soon. Remember? Give him some meat. Hey, maybe you can take a cab to a different store or something? You can send me. Murmur, He tips the tattoo and wishes for a passing cab. Good luck! Dig through the trash can? You know it. Got a single shoe. Check for the second one. There's the second one. So let's see. I will check out the store in a sec. Okay. Try to make some workshop of the boards. Go on in. Oh, this is gonna be. Okay, I was about to say. I was like, I cannot see anything. Shelf some of tea doesn't even have a shelf. Only thing left is a pair of rusty tongs. Grab them. Barbecue tongs. Plus two miscality. It deals miscality plus hot damage. Interesting. Nothing but trash on the shelf. You should sell feet less. Um, no, it's empty. Less! But it's definitely empty. But wait! Listen, it's empty, I promise. Sigh, fine. Oh wait, what's this? What, what? I just can't miss nothing. Even mice would be disappointed with this shelf. The shel shelf is loaded with various pieces of trash. Dig through it. Lip balm. <coughs> what does lip balm mean? Increases your sleeve armor. Interesting. So. Never mind. So, what? Okay, give me a second. I got potion and food. So. Do I have any? Okay, yeah. There's only potions and food. I guess I can. Oh, I did not need to. Search through the counter that's long, dusty, and abandoned. Register's empty unless you know someone who's got some mouse droppings right behind the counter. There's an old invoice from a shipment from the Shackle Mills factory, should mark to have never arrived. Factory's address is listed. Shackle's Mill factory. Interesting. So I guess let's head on to the Shackle, uh, Shackle Mill. A thin, nervous looking man in a suit stops you. Excuse me, do you fear for your safety in this dangerous city full of hooms and grimmels? Um, well, I didn't until you said that. Then it's a good thing you met me. I have a solution for you right here. I see. What are you selling? He holds up a small case and opens it. it opens it, displaying a selection of the tiniest pistols you've ever seen. Dinerius. With one of these up your sleeve in your sock or wherever you can think hide it, personal self-defense is right at your fingertips. I, huh, I can see how pistol is legal in the state. Uh, well, probably sure. Hmm, how much? Only for 30 meats. So for an extra small. So there's Moxie plus two physical. Sure, I'll buy one. You won't regret this. Continue on your way. Nice. 
So there's a crate, a truck lane with crates of snapple cakes, the worst snack food ever. Grab a crate. Is there anything else around? Is this some kind of weird knobbly rock? Empty vegetable drums, baking soda. Let's see, I will go inside in a second. Squirm through. Looks like one of the abandoned factories has been occupied by one of the Ocean City's various gangs of street hooligans, namely the Doughboys. They're hanging out here in their leather jackets and white aprons, bragging about their sourdough starters and using ru rude words like vocation and son of a bro-, bro <laughs> Or they were until you made that huge racket getting in here. Now they're staring knives at you. And also, they're also staring knives at you. And also pointing knives at you. And they're bread knives, which are serrated, so you really don't want to get stabbed with one. Oops. Loose sugar. You're really bad at everything on these table shackle cakes. So I could also enter through the door. The front door to the factory. Wait, is this the front of the factory or the back? Enter. The door doesn't appear to be locked, but sure doesn't open. Close inspection seems to be got shut. Force it open. Interesting, they point either way. The shelf is laden with some bag of expired flour. Take some. Mana rich flour. Ever since. <laughs> Ever since I've run a mass produced magic flower, the cause of fire insurance has skyrocketed. Self contains a lot of chemicals, but don't seem they like they should be in front. Take some. Miscellaneous chemicals. Interesting. Arcane oven, do some cooking. Uh, what, what do you want to make? Some mess of grown to mana rich. Make some fancy food. Yeah, I'll make that. Okay, then. Let's see here. I don't have any cooking food. <laughs> You've always seemed less aggressive than all the street gangs, but they're glaring at you, muttering anger to each other instead of already attacking you. However, it's clear that you aren't getting past them without. Get past them. Let's see here. So I can do. Can definitely. So these guys will here heal, but hmm. can't try my soda can, and I can can only use one item per turn, but I can certainly. Do get rid of the dough boys. Excuse me, I had to blow my nose for a second. And flip. Bye, Jane. I'm sorry that has happened to you. Neither do three bleed, three heart damage, or one damage and one bleeding. I guess I'll do the five, three fire damage because that's a bit more. I'll do the soda can. And then I can do all the uh, missile, Parmesan missile. Then I can swipe at you with my. Can I, I guess I can attempt a bleeding. Stench. Got a chef's hat. Ooh. Clammy dough. Combat I'm in. Always tells me the bread's so pleasant given how blunt pleasant greens are when you mix them together. It's my turf now. This must be the boss's office since it's the only office. Hey, shouts of remaining dough boys. Get away from that door. door. Fight these ones too. Oh no, not Jade. here. So I guess I can get rid of the dough boys since being able to heal is very effective. Um, I guess I can attempt to chuck this and then swipe. <coughs> I'll swipe at the big guy with the loafer. Um, your 
pretty weak, so I'll chuck that at you. And chuck that. Swipe at my blade. And might as well just kill up and swipe. Those old boys couldn't stand to you. I do bring a lot of heat. Okay, so there's both sides. Okay. Go into the boss's office. The leave of the doughboy is identified by the fact that he has a greasier hat and more rivets on his jacket than other doughboys. It's not for the fact that he's the manager at his office. Doesn't even notice when you enter. He appears to be focused on several large piles of wet dough lying on the ground around him. Weird. If you're interested in the history of Ocean City Baking History, the shelf will receive to be Trevor Cho if you are not. This boss doughboy boy has not taken naked note of it yet, but he's probably not so dense that you can get any closer before he does. Approach him. Who, who the hell are you? Introduce yourself. I'm Master Ash, and you are? He scowls angrily, trying to decide between yelling at you or to get out or bragging about himself. I'm Ross Doman Sabata, best bake in this city. Nice to meet you. Now get out! <laughs> Keep chatting with him. What are you doing with all those piles of dough? Not that's any business of yours, I'm perfecting my recipe for bread golems, so I'm gonna be running this town. Oh yeah, you and what army? Me and my me and my army of bread golems, were you not listening? Probably shouldn't let you get away with this. You'd be lucky to get away with all your arms and legs. Rise, my minion, rise! He waves his arm widely and the bread doughs around him conceal into the two large bread golems. Uh oh. Oh no. Let's see here. Do you want to get rid of the tiny guy? So let's... So these guys are pretty beefy. Let's see here. I'll do the uh, fling the hair. So you'll be pretty weak. And I guess I'll use... Get rid of that guy. <coughs> and then... Swipe at this guy. Uh, since the bleeding's gonna go down, I'll swipe at you with some bleed. Uh, so I do wanna do dealing spooky. And I don't need I need I don't need to worry about that. I don't think I need to worry about using any of my other items. I'm glad the bleed slice bleeds bleed stays. Cause it's just a nice overall stacking damage. And five damage. And swipe it with my blade. Got pants, appear to be white pants, actually a pair of brown pants that are co completely covered in flour. Also get mana enriched flour, and jade grows stronger. Excellent. And there's also this desk. Rifle through it. 65 meat and doughboy's recipe. So, read. One of the recipes for Glaw Familiars. Calls for three cups of mana enriched flour mixed up with something called sandwich cream. Do I have any sandwich cream? Do some cooking. <coughs> Guess not. And there's nothing else around, so... I guess we can then head to this guy. Bright... An elderly man with thick operator, thick glasses shuffles up to you with a determined and expect expression. Before you can react, you shove some meat in your mouth and shut such an ear. Operator, operator, get my worth of sun and look. Cough, mister, I'm not a payphone. And that's what the last payphone said. I'm not buying it. Let me talk to my son. I said, I'm sorry, I said, the line's busy. Please try again later. Probably, probably gaddling with his floozy girlfriends. Shuffles away angrily. Bleh. Let's see. Some stranger's door knock at it. Like your chip. Weird. Yeah. Your 
interesting. Talk to him. Any luck on getting those snacko cakes? I'm really judging for whatever they used to for the frosting. Finally found some. Here you go. Gain 100 meat and some XP. Got the park expert sitter. You're so good at staying down, it makes you look even no easier than it normally does. I must have given you some sitting tips. Thanks, Marvin. See you around. Interesting. Glad I got that done. And I have 65 experience. I'm... Hmm, I think I'm probably going to wait for the... Uh, either for... Let's see here. Either for the Godzilla Guile for the plus XP from Fight or the Grace for the times 2 materials from Gathering. Since... I do have another hat which I could use, so I'm gonna go to the back to the draw dr bar boardwalk. See, you buzzing noise that you chase a small, swarm of very large mosquitoes drifting lazily around the suit grate. You can barely say love; they're so infected with this stolen human blood. Dang, the city really is dropping on the ball of the public health machines. Do the city's job for it. You do some freelance extermination work and pay yourself with a bunch of blood cells you scrape off from your bomb and tissue after you're done. Got some Icar, move along. So. Go inside. Chef's hat? Okay. So, let's see, do I have any other hats? Go inside. Okay. Do I have any other hats that I use? And pretty sure, I mean, obviously I already used the turbine, but I'm just curious. Uh, inventory, broken coconut. And last one would be the fedora. fedora. Okay, so let's see here. Moxie, maximum HP. Sticking with that, and sticking with my sword leaf as of right now. I'm fine with the him. Fine with all that. I'm fine with the ring of repulsion. I think I'm gonna keep the five for the maintenance overall equipped. I'll keep Jade the turtle out for two. Find some cigars and report back to the guy. So let's go to the Puckett Street for now. People, what's happening? Can dig the shades, got good taste. What do you want? Like, like, you like my sunglasses? Oh, gotcha. I didn't think anyone saw causing shade for at least another 20 years, though. Pride myself on being on the cutting edge. Flips over the coat showing you wore sunglasses. Care to buy yourself a pen? Which way find me? Sure, it's a deal. Now I'd like to wait to you. Taking me expertly paired selects the best pair of sunglasses for you and lining the coats. Look, looking good, baby. Nice to visit with you. Continue on your way. Say hi. How's grenade project coming? There are six of them, two of them blew up in my face. Two out of six isn't bad, I think I can still sell them. Exchange for you should be search I'll give you a discount for from now on. How much of a discount? Two hundred meat in s total savings. Caught all future pur purchases. <coughs> here, here you go. This seems less like a discount, more like a flat board. I don't like doing a worth of a tick. See what's for sale. I can still buy it. You know what? I'll keep the thing. Surplus grenades, salts. Oh, and there's cigars. Can you believe they used to issue cigars to soldiers? And they still do, probably, for like another 50 years. 
So I'll get some uh, cigars for the... So... <coughs> now I can actually go to the Dorchie's house. Hands up in the air, pile you on tin Lizzie surf, and this is Dick Up. You turn to see a woman in oil stain cover overall supporting gun like to only direction. What is that cocking sock sick up is it isn't usually such a lower phrase. Actually it's a grease gun, so I guess it's more like a slick up, huh? Gross. Everett's a crit critic. Get give me a wallet. Grab a gun. You pull the wallet you you pull out your wallet and nervously fumble it, dropping it at the woman's feet. When she growls and reaches for it, you swiftly grab her wrist and twist the grease gun out of her hands. Hey, look. L looks like the grease is on the other lug lo nut. Honestly, I don't know anything about cars. You're gonna re regret messing with the tin lizzies. Gonna regret touching this filthy grease gun more. Go on, scram. Ooh, boxy plus two sleet damage. Interesting. Nice and smooth. Yeah, this one is still steaming. Talk to the urn. Um, grab for Swix. Alright, oh, Swix, are you worried about getting your ashes mixed up? Just leave them on the table. I got. I think it's got scars. I'm not gonna let you start to smoke bomb at all. But I want to live to. And you want to. I want you to live and be it all. But I'll make me look cool. Nothing cool is them outliving your enemies. Alright, fine. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> so, talk to the urn. Um. Put the cigars on the tray. Put the cigars on the tray and quickly hatch your plan approaching the fifth ur urn. And put the captain George voice again. I right, made you smokes upon the table as you want. Appreciate, Captain. Then you hide behind the captain who is snoring in his chair. After a time, the bookcase slides aside. An unshaven, shifting looking guy pokes his head out and glances around superstitiously. Then he tiptoes over to the table, picks up the pack of scars, and then returns to the secret door. And the bookcase slides shut behind him. Well, what do you know? Try and pet him. Inspect the bookcase. Uh, I try and push the bookshelf shut but lock in place. I mean, literally. Um, check the seaman's manual for ropes and knots. Nothing happens when you pull the book off the shelf, so you flip it open and page through a little. As advertised, it's a thorough guide in various kinds of ropes and knots and chips, with all diagrams, although none of them particularly are useful to you personally. And they say never to judge a book by its cover. How about practical? Uh, about check a novel guide to Lieutenant Harbor. Got item how to curse like a sailor. <laughs> So, ever since you're on sea captain, notes and charts don't mean much to you, and none of them have a big black X marking the side of buried treasure. Fui, what's this? There's a little pamphlet shoved in the back. Check the practical secret doors for the home handyman. You tilt the book forward and nothing happens, so you put the book. Uh, so you pull the book all the way off the shelf and nothing happens. So you flip through the book and start rifling through the pages until you find one with a pa page corner turned down. Diagram on the page shows the three most common unintrusive latch mechanisms for bookshelf based secret doors. And on close inspection, this bookcase is using the second one. Now you can open the secret door whenever you're ready. Nice. Enter the secret door. Give this uh, if there's sex to to all these dead soldiers. Maybe this guy thinks it's treasure, but it looks like trash to you. Hey, what are you doing in a were you seriously about to ask me what I'm doing here? Yeah, even after I was saying it sounds stupid, how do you find me? I hid and watched you came out for your smokes. Oh, that was you, huh? I thought the captain's voice didn't sound quite right. So what's the deal? Basically, what it looks like. Looks like you're hiding in this old man's house to rob him while he sleeps. In that case, it's not all what it looks like. I'm listening, because it is certainly something else. I'll admit, I'm the f I, at first I was playing and robbing him. I figured an old sea captain must have secret treasure, right? He wasn't a pirate. No, it turned out he was just a lonely, lonely old man with nobody to talk to except, well, his old sailing buddies. So I'd say hanging out back here and chatting with him through the wall. You didn't find a change? He was a little spooked at first, but once I'd gotten a handle on how the different voices should sound, I learned enough to keep up with the antidotes. He relaxed. It's nice to have some weird w someone to talk to, even if the situation's kind of weird, right? So that's all. You just do this because you feel sorry for him? 
Well, yeah, I won't pretend I don't like have something where to say run free. His pension from the shipping company is pretty good, and short-term memory is kind of bad, so it doesn't pay much attention to the fact that he's back from for two people. He's a good. It's a good. He's a good guy in an easy life. Don't screw it up for us, okay? Wait, what is he, anyways? I'm here about the solar and Yeah, probably mis that was probably a mistake. He mentioned the fifth sailor a few times, so I thought it might might like to have a whole crew together, you know? So I lifted a random urn from that little cathedral to fill the spot. It seemed like a good idea at the time. If you see who needs it back. It'll be weird if it just vanishes, though. Can you swap it for another one? The captain doesn't like it, so he won't notice if there's no ashes in it. Fine, I'll do what I can. I'll do it for the captain. So I need to... So I can... It's once for fight. Muscle... Yeah, I'll, I'll... Since this is Moxie, I'll clip that since it's a bit better. I need to figure out where the heck there's another urn. So... Actually, wait. Can I pet the cat now? Man, okay. Maybe I go to the eerie house. <laughs> Barely have time to react to ground shakes and suddenly violence without warning. Then burst into a rain of earth as several large slimy tentacles force their way out of the ground, writhing and twisting, groping their surroundings. It's the sense the action you barely had time to make was Ah Fight them What the heck are these things? They're so spooky. So spooky. And all of them do eight damage. Great. And I guess I can just swipe. Guess I can then do toot. Thanks for healing me up, Shade. And then swipe with my sword leaf. We won! They're gonna need ten of those things if they want to tackle you. Oh, curious. You follow the served earth and cracked pavement from the trail where the tentacles popped out of the ground. The place where presumably they popped in, and presumably, I mean obviously, because the place is how it's slimy, wiggly tentacles while they get all of itself. Do you have to phrase it that way? Do I keep walking for now? This seems like a pretty normal house in the pretty nice neighborhood, but there's something odd about it. Something sort of uncomfortable energy that makes hair on the back of your neck stand out. Maybe it has something to do with the weird droning tone that you're coming inside, like the pained and human moan constantly raging in pitch. Maybe that's it, yeah. So, so. The, you knock, but you know, spawn, so you nose your way inside. The eerie sound is even loud in here, it seems to be coming from upstairs. Also, the owner's interior design seems to be a little strange. I'll come back inside for a second. Bunch of books about music theory, even the most basic ones would totally be bond view. Dusty disused chess set, day stands, some chairs. Tea time was long ago, there's nothing left here but stains. Plate rag has a statement piece and the same as I have too many plates. Shelf full of trophies and music competitions. Cabinet full of backup plates. Cameron full of sheet music. Examine one of the pieces. Polish sheet, but it's all German. On da kant kind Deutsch. I I have no idea if I pronounce that, those rights, because I am not German, <laughs> or I don't know how to speak German. Climb, climb the stairs. Tired looking man is playing cello here. Here, talk to him. But who are you? Why am I here? Sorry for intruding, but I heard the music, and I guess it was. I guess I have an interesting nature. My name's Esther Ash. Well, I'm Ursh Zimmer. Forgive me for not stopping, but it's fine that I continue playing. What are you doing? There's a darkness beneath my house. Did you check the fuse box? No, I. It's probably it then. Listen to me, I had a dream, a premonition of a dark rift appearing in my basement and growing and growing until it swallowed my entire house. And then the neighborhood and then the world. Wow, that's quite a dream. It's not just a dream, I went downstairs to check the basement and there is indeed the rift. And now it's still small, but I must keep playing the cello to prevent it from growing any larger. Uh, 
Uh, how does the playing cello help? The brass vibration reverberates sound when focused by the circling furniture downstairs. This furniture, this resonance inhibits the rift. Don't really get it, but okay. Are you physicists or something? No, I'm only a cellist. Cellist. Can I explain how I knew this would work? Okay. Do you mind uh, if I have a look at this rift? Well, I cannot blame you for wanting to see with your own eyes. You'll have to reach in my pocket and take the key out for the basement for yourself, as I require both hands to play. Please do not get close to the rift. Brace. Go back down. Go on through. Everything on the shelf has either evaporated or expired. Boarding mod music sheets. Must be see Mick keeps all those forever. Level. There's some kind of black rift to pour or something over there. Maybe you shouldn't get too close to it. Get cl too close to it. It's your funeral. Closer inspection seems a lot less to let rift and more like a pool of some kind of thick black tar like substance. Where'd it come from? Investigates. The only thing nearby is a shelf is an old basement chuck. Check the bottom shelf. Uh, there is a few du dusty old jam jars. Check the second shelf. Nothing but sh dust. Write your name in the dusts. Congratulations on expressing your creativity in a way that no one will ever know, except you'll know. Check the third shelf. This shelf has a th box labeled things. It's little screws or brains, stuff like that. Looks like when Zimmer's kitchen junk drawer got too full, it just jumps in here. Since you're already looking, you shift through a second and find a fuse that still looks good. Zimmer probably won't mind, or <coughs> or ever if you know if you pocket it. So yeah, it allows various electrical circuits to work properly. Check the top shelf. Top shelf has a few very... Uh, few old tins of varnish and a big puddle tar. So you watch the... A drip of tar slowly leaks down the hole from the bottom of the bucket and plops into the pub below. There you go, mystery solved. Aha. Glad that's one mystery solved. Lemon. Talk to him. Salad. So I figured it out. Figured out, what do you mean? The black rift in your basement isn't a rift at all. It's just a puddle created by a leaking bucket. A leaking bucket of tar. Tar? Oh my goodness, that's mortifying. I've been such a fool. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's a pretty spooky coincidence, after all. Well, at least I can stop playing this cello. I'm exhausted. Yeah, go ahead and rest. Don't worry. Everything's fine. Uh-oh. Maybe convincing Zimmer to stop playing the cello wasn't such a good idea. Oops. Oh. Oh no. Fish is black, sh black sludge in the teapot. Guess I'll fish. and tea, I'll drink some mist. Take some. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you pull out sheets, title all our bids and no spies make a stall boy. Oh jeez, that's sure as dark rips and pages over there like some more afraid of. Looks like the tar was coincidence unless that magic shadow tar or something. Probably wasn't magic shadow tar. Well nuts. I'm gonna talk. To, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to him once more and uh, tell him, "Hey, looks like you're right on along." Hi, Mr. Nice, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, bad news. What do you mean? Remember, I said everything was fine. I do remember that. Yeah, I'm telling you that you were incorrect. Let's just say your house is incredibly haunted now. Ugh, I should not have trusted you. We were both fools. Did the rift open? Yeah. No, no. What are you? What are you gonna do? Don't worry. I'll think of something. Yeah, I'm gonna go investigate this rift. Really? I'm gonna step on through. Find yourself in an infinite black void. Oh well, it looks like an infinite black void, but you have an uneasy feeling that your brain's only showing you an infinite black void because it doesn't want you to process what this place really looks like. It's a weird feeling. Look around. There's a bunch of things I could dampen. This creature is built more or less like a large muscular person. If you built a large muscular person out of some kind of breathing black ooze and or smoke and or just plain raw darkness, it is a fist-sized growing crystal embedded in its chest about where its sternum would be. And you would draw near. You can feel it radiating, radiating visible weights of energy, kind of like heat coming off a radiator, except it's the opposite of that. 
Also, not all related to that. Look, incomprehensible forces are tricky to describe, okay? The, cr the creature shambles back and forth, raving in arms in a way it almost looks like dancing, praying, or maybe just absentmindedly absent flying. It seems oblivious to your presence, although you'll probably change pretty quickly if you try to interfere with it. Like, 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 say if you try to pry the glowing chest out of its eyes. Set it up. The creature looks like it could rip you in half without really trying, maybe without even really noticing. I will leave it alone for now. I'm not going to dampen these, since... I'm worried if I dampen it, it's going to try and escape, so... To-do list. So yeah, I'm going to need four... Uh, personal notes. Let's see, write a note. Let's see here. Need 14 muscle for wrist side crest rifts. <coughs> Seems good. Yes. View notes. Close. Perfect. And with that, I'm gonna head on out since don't think I can. As the door shuts behind you, you saw him griping great news, and you see the entire house implode. It's fun to get sucked in the black vortex. Can't say it didn't worry me. Oops. No, darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! <sighs> Man! Man! Guess I can release that nose then. Press the notes. Ace the notes. Two. Selects. Yes. Man, okay. I guess for now I'm just gonna head to the main menu and I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, month of your lives. And may the stars forever guide your path, forever might lead you into the future. Goodbye everybody.